Alrighty, new shot here. Let's check this out. There's no sound. It's fairly short. We can play it twice. And I think it's definitely promising. So I do like the attitude that you have in the overall pose. And I like this. I like that twist here. Fists. It's getting ready. The only thing I'd be careful about is you have all this information here. I mean, this couple more ease ins and outs and breakouts, you know, splatting that was going to be definitely interesting. You have good speed going over. So careful that I think it works already pretty well is that it doesn't just stop. Like he goes, takes that step here, turns. And so it continues to go to the right. So when you go here, make sure it feels like it goes mostly back and maybe this way. Just This could be more to the right where he might even be slightly on um what's it called uh weight shifting onto that leg and then when he sits down he might come back to his right just you don't want to you want to have the root move this fast and bam suddenly stop it's going to go over and back a bit as he takes this step right this step at that angle which again which is great stops this um this momentum and the, the energy and the speed and everything i'm looking for words <laughs> going to the right this will stop it right i'll make sure it doesn't just stop on a dime i'd be concerned that this will in the front view will look just like that versus like that the biggest thing though hey this is a bit uncomfortable i don't know what that pose is with that um the hand i'm actually acting on my own here i have that a bit more I'm a lefty, but this that's definitely what happens. But I have the other hand inside. So if you go like this, that wrist goes in here and the fingers wrap around here. And that's fine. This goes wrapped around like that. Um, just I would tweak that for sure. But my biggest concern is you go from here to here. That's a lot of information missing. Ba -boom. Yes, he's mad. Yes, it's slightly cartoony. And you can have a forceful sit down. But I think what you could add in terms of a bit more, I know this could be too much depending on that, is rig. But you know, the chair legs can squeeze out a little bit. Imagine this kind of goes down and then back up just over a couple frames. Because that might be weird when you have this much energy and then going down that nothing's happening there. So he might even be too much on one side where maybe the chair wobbles a bit to the side i'm exaggerating but something like that it also feels like i mean as an exercise it's totally fine if you continue it's almost like you want one more beat he's mad 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 sits down and then at the end either he would kind of overshoot and come back or he would just sit hold a bit <clears throat> and then go up and then maybe I mean, you could also have this, maybe, and then go into a thing where they're more like that. Or actually out like this. And then he holds he holds that pose a bit longer, right? Arms out and then goes, hmm. And then goes up, mad. Like the nose, the nose is up, a bit curved, and then the arms crossed. Like, hmm, I'm mad. And maybe even looking over to the sides. It just feels like it could, it could have one more pose at the end for a little of attitude thing. But that's mainly that. I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's headed in the right direction. You're asking, though, what you could add here. It seems too generic. I mean, it is. I don't know. It has an attitude. Walk, turn, sit. That's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of mechanics in there. I think that's definitely worth splatting out and really making sure you still got that harsh energy on the stomps, right? You don't want this to be spliny. So you're going to have a fairly harsh hit here on on the spine a little bit a little bit of impact tremor here on the head he's not going to be all loose because he's stiff he's angry he's tense i think that's definitely worth um practicing and then you could do something where he's maybe hmm, again maybe tweaking just the arm poses and then adding something at the else where uh, at the end where it's something else where it's more personality driven which is already there but i think it's maybe something in the face i'm not familiar with this rig so i don't know how much you can do in there you're also proposing an alternate where a guy sits down in front of a TV after a long day and just as he's about to turn it on, the power goes out. I mean, could also work. So I would assume 
if you say a long day that i mean the person sitting in front of a tv is definitely uh has been done a lot this is my tv drawing by the way and maybe that's more like a long couch just the mechanics are totally different just be totally different acting which is fine too i don't know to me they're both super valid you're asking though you want to figure out how to do the eyes in the dark thing so basically you just hit seven that's my seven american seven european seven whatever in maya and it gets all black right no lights look all dark and then all you have to do is take your incandescence of your white in the eyeballs and turn it all the way up so it will be just white so play blast that and then play blast one that's completely black with just his eyes showing and then when it the lights you know switch off you just cut that footage and cut to the next footage and keep it fairly simple but that's kind of that i don't know i can see something really fun in there some little wobble on the chair but an attitude change it could be something interesting where he sits down and holds and you're wondering because you know you would think that he would then get back and get another pose or something and that could be an interesting hold in terms of expectation you can also hold again have arms out shoulders up and going rrr, rrr. and then full contrast of him going slowly back and then actually going hmm arms crossed and then one leg like that and goes hmm and maybe not where he he was mad thought about it still kind of mad but kind of kind of kind of different you know or like this and then he goes back and has a big laugh Mwah, 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 whatever laugh that is. You know what I mean? I mean, you can you can change the ending for a huge contrast, which might be fun to animate as well. So for me, worth exploring. At the same time, that's a royal we, as in we should move forward. You're doing the animation. So if you don't feel like, eh, I don't know, it's kind of boring, I would do something else. Like, it's always important to have fun with the shot. And since you're doing just exercises, might as well do something where you're excited um, about doing it. Yeah? All right, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.